Okay, today I'm using muscle bound. Uh, what that is is uh, it's an adhesive uh, mat that you put up, and instead of <clears throat> putting on your thin set or your mortar, um, you can use the muscle bound adhesive pad to do it. I decided to put a to put a uh, backsplash up, kind of an afterthought. Just a little something to add a little bling. Um, this is a mosaic uh, mosaic tiles, and I got it for fifty cents. So I thought, why not? And it has actually some natural stone in here. You see the imperfections. And technically that should be sealed up before I do any grounding, but I'm not, oops, sorry. I'm not going to do that. This is such a small job that um, I'm not going to bother with that. And just pressing it in there with my float. I got a smaller float to uh, what they call a margin float that I'm going to use to do the grout work on this. And then all I do is peel the adhesive pad off. In place put your mosaics or whatever tile you want to use you can use up to a 12 inch tile which is rather large and you firmly push that into place it's got really good reviews and um, I can use this I uh, install real lightweight aluminum tiles in my uh, Eight unit in Frankenmuth there for a uh, um, stove surround. And they're real lightweight, and I think this would work good. That way, I justified the twenty-seven dollars to buy the muscle bound. Hmm. This is this is being a stinker. Got that little corner going. There we go. Mm. It's sticky. Supposed to put a spacer in between these. But I'm just gonna eyeball it. That looks good about there. Yeah. And then press the mosaic tiles into place. It's hard to get around. That's why I got a margin trowel to get around this. I don't feel like taking this faucet off again. So it was the uh, supply lines didn't weren't behaving for me. Okay, backsplash installed. I'm just ready for some grout. That'll be for a later video. If you like my videos, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.